question about anger. Um, for me, lately, I've had a lot of uh, anger come up that I haven't experienced my whole life, and I'm not sure how to deal with it. Uh, my question is sort of, where does anger really come from, and um, how does one disperse it as harmlessly as possible? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Anger is a product of oneself, and it is created by so many kinds of frustrations that one might have within oneself. So, the outward anger is just a projection of what you are all about, combined with all your inhibitions and frustrations. Uh, and you're not at one with yourself. So therefore, anger is important because it helps to gather you within yourself. Now I can take each and every one in a moment and make you feel totally angry. <laughs> but that is not the solution. Well, I could shit you out right away, yes, and make you feel more angry. It could serve a good purpose, though because you'd be releasing the pent-up emotions of yourself. Ah. So anger, too, has a great part to play in a person's life. But there's one thing to be remembered, surely, is the control of anger. Control of anger does not mean the suppression of anger. Because by suppressing it, it only goes deeper and deeper down, and then it would erupt like a volcano. Hmm? So let it out in bits and pieces. That's the way to do it. Because then the process will not hurt you so much by letting it out in bits and pieces instead of a vast explosion. So to make the process more simpler more easier, you let it out little by little. As the old saying goes, if you feel angry, go and kick your dog. Huh? <laughs> Poor dog. <laughs> Why must it be kicked in any case? Huh? So, anger wells up because of pent up emotions and feelings. Hmm? But you can uh, dissipate it step by step and very, very kindly. So when the kindness is mixed with anger, anger loses itself. If you want to be angry, be angry with anger and not with anyone else. You can see how simple it is and how it works. I'm going to be bloody angry now. Jesus, what am I angry about? Huh? 
I'm angry about my anger. Do you see? So be angry with your anger and say, hey boy, what the hell is this? Hmm? And then you start analyzing it and you ask yourself, why have I been angry? Because anger is transitory. It's only for the moment. And after the moment of anger passes, you are in a totally different mood. Huh? And then in that mood you say, why was I angry? Was it unnecessary to lose my mind temporarily? That's how one views it. But why do it in retrospection? Do it at the moment. If your foot itches, scratch it. Huh? And you scratch your anger and remove the itch because that itch is a bitch. <laughs> As Sujay says, oh, life is a bitch. That is the way to deal with it. And with a bit of patience and practice, you could deal with anger. For example, if I would swear now at Vidyaji or Rupaji, huh? in one moment it will pass and I would ask myself, why did I swear them? Because this was not done or that was not done. When I know it will soon be done. I have been impatient with myself. I've lost the patience and become impatient. So that is how we deal with anger or any emotion that rolls up. Hmm? Do you know when you make love, to your wife or girlfriend, whatever. It is also an expression of a certain form of anger. Did you know that? Hmm? Because that pleasure has the element of pain in it. But how to combine the two how to reconcile it, there lies the art of love and of loving. Ah, next question. <laughs>